Hello everybody, welcome to the EOS Hot Sauce, episode number 159. I'm your host, Dan Singjoy. I hope that you're having a great day and are excited for some spicy EO stories. Jumping right into it now. The topics that we'll discuss today are GameFi and DAGs, Wombat updates, Helios Incubator Wave 4, EOS IO Coalition progress, EOS Zine updates, Pamela Rocket Potions that are now live, a new interview with Eve on the Crypto Coin Show, new Architects of Consensus article, and EOS Community Events. Hope everybody's doing well. So first topic, GameFi and DAGs. Eve LaRose wrote a fascinating new article about DAGs. DAGs are decentralized autonomous gaming guilds and are essential to build up GameFi. They merge the best attributes of DAOs, decentralized autonomous organizations, and gaming guilds. It's a fascinating article and great to see it in NASDAQ. To accompany the article, Eve also wrote a great thread about GameFi and DAGs to help predict the future of EOS gaming and gaming around the world in general. He makes a prediction that GameFi is the next big mega trend in crypto and will onboard millions of people into the blockchain space. GameFi being game finance like DeFi where people can earn by playing games. So let's check out the thread briefly. It's really fascinating. So he starts with some statistics. The GameFi industry was valued at over $40 billion in November of 2021. This is absolutely huge, way bigger than movies and the music industry and books and all sorts of entertainment. And GameFi is already empowering millions of people to earn a living by playing blockchain games. You can see the exponential growth, rapid, rapid expansion of GameFi. And it's really exciting to see. Um, of course, throughout most of the history of the gaming industry over the past decades, it's been pay to play where people have to pay sometimes $60 or so to access a video game. And then when you play, you might play a lot, but the assets that you earn, the items that you do, you can't really trade them and they're not really valuable outside the game, but not with blockchain technology. And with EOS, there's a new business model for playing to earn where people can earn while playing at the same time. And the things that people earn can be traded for real world assets and they are real world assets in themselves. So assets in a game can be used to pay for groceries or for housing or for whatever people need to pay for or want to pay for. So it's a huge innovation that EOS and blockchain enable. And Eve goes on to share an example of Axie Infinity, which is one of the most popular game five games on Ethereum. And there's also some very interesting economics that come with the blockchain technology and so forth. So he talks about how as games increase in popularity on the blockchain, the price of assets and NFTs like axes can go up and to make that work well and lots of possibilities here, players can lease out NFTs within games and also sell their and trade their assets and so forth. So lots of fascinating um, and uh, helpful new primitives in the economics of games. And along with these new primitives come gaming guilds, DAGs. So as Eve says, gaming guilds made up of investors and gamers and managers are a new type of business that takes advantage of these new revenue streams made possible by GameFi. He also provides a picture of YGG, which is a major investor in many GameFi apps such as Axie Infinity. And yeah, there's more details here. And then there's much more details in the NASDAQ article. So I definitely recommend checking this out. It's got... Um, it's quite long and has lots of fascinating predictions. And I read this yesterday and learned quite a lot about the future of gaming. So it's really fun and exciting and helpful for everybody. In addition to the NASDAQ article, you can also check out the Everything EOS weekly report from May 9th. So in that weekly report, you can see how four of the top five blockchain games in the world are built on EOS and EOS IO, the EOS VM. And that's of course possible because the performance of EOS. So with EOS handling 60 NFTs is a breeze and EOS is the only blockchain that's ever handled 100 million transactions per day. And so many other helpful features. Last week we talked about how FC Porto, a very popular club in Portugal, Join the Upland Metaverse with over 230,000 monthly active users. And that's a great story. Check out last week's uh, show for that. And of course, Upland has beautiful art and people can be Metaverse entrepreneurs and they have an, uh, a partnership with the NFL. So there's really cool developments there. And then many other games on EO, such as Blankos, which has over a million players now, which Eve recently tweeted about, and Liquid, which is a new universe building game that's coming out on EO soon and will enable lots more games as well.
So in addition to those games, there's also Wombat. So Wombat is the, uh, well, it's one of the fastest growing blockchain and gaming ecosystems in the world. It's also a popular wallet application for EOS where people can get EOS accounts and play games at the same time very easily. They put out a tweet with some very interesting and impressive stats. So there's been 2.4 million signups total on Wombat, and there are 250,000 or over 250,000 monthly active users, 65,000 people playing these games every day with Wombat, 1.2 million NFTs printed for Wombat partners, 40 AA or AAA major like great games on the platform and many partnerships with major publishers and game studios, and 700,000 NFTs staked to Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master is their game that Wombat is building with lots of interesting and helpful EOS NFT dynamics. We featured this on the Hot Sauce a while ago, and you can check it on their website and watch the video to learn more. They also have like some cute wombats, which is really cool. And then you can also just check out wombat.app too. And you can check out their website. It, it, it had been a while since I checked it out, and I was really impressed by seeing all the progress that's been going on with Wombat. You can download the app on all the major app stores, and you can also see their beautiful and really cool and exciting graphics here as well. And then you can check out Game Studio, so game developers can become a Wombat partner and build with Wombat on the Wombat website. For example, Wombat recently announced a partnership with a decentralized Minecraft server. So it's great to see one of the most popular games in the world, Minecraft, is now using or, or now integrating with EOS and Wombat. And then Wombat also released the Wombat token, where players will be able to earn Wombat by downloading and playing games, completing quests, and all sorts of helpful uh, things like that. And Wombat recently crossed over or they put out a fun tweet. They have approximately 70,000 members in the Discord, so you can also learn more about Wombat in their Discord server as well. So great to see all the GameFi developments going on with Wombat and Upland and GameFi, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the future gaming happening on EOS. The next, um, and uh, well, first I, I'll check out the chat too. So we have lots of comments in the chat. I see Soa, Yevin, Daniel, and Yana, and Ian, and Andrew, and Veronica, all tags go to heaven. Loomblog, Dario, go EOS, Bywire News, go. Thank you, Bywire, go, Bywire, go. Everybody in the EOS community, thanks everybody for being here. I hope that you're enjoying your day. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, Awesome stuff. The, we have a party card giveaway today, and we're doing it a bit differently, or quite a bit differently. We have an innovative new tool. So this week's party card giveaway is um, now leveraging Bounty Block's new contest tool, which is available on EOS for the first time. This tool is currently in private beta, and it's the first time that we're using it. If you're an EOS builder that wants to try out this powerful new social media promotional tool, you can reach out to Bounty Block by joining their Telegram channel at Bounty Block NFT. And everybody who's watching now, or anybody who retweets uh, this tweet about the hot sauce within either today or tomorrow can be entered for a chance to win party crackers. This week we have 20 party crackers to be won, and you can connect your EOS account, you can learn how to do so at the tweet below. There is a website which is not loading properly, but now it's loading properly, where you can learn exactly how that works and you can um, connect your account and you can get points and so forth to get a higher chance at winning by following EOS Nation and retweeting this tweet and so forth. So it's really cool and I'm, I'm very excited to see these developments with uh, Bounty Block and NFTs and everybody should retweet and so forth to enter for a chance to win. And you can also learn more about Bounty Block at bountyblock.io. Next topic that we'll discuss today is Helios Incubator Wave 4. So Helios announced this a week or two ago. We hadn't covered it yet, and it's really uh, exciting to see. So it's good to cover now. Uh, wave 4 started recently. The past waves have been really successful and great to see all this progress. You can learn about Wave 4 and what they're aiming to do here in this new blog post that Helios released on heliosrising.com. And you can also check out the founders. I believe that there's 10 founders with a bunch of interesting projects that are building with EOS. Io, uh, one of them is Haifa DAO, which is building tools for scaling coordination on on Web three and DAOs and so forth. That's quite popular in the EOS community. And there's also one that I learned about called Function Loops, which is a sound design company as well. And then there's there's quite a few more that you could check out as well that are building with EOS IO. So it's cool to see these developments with Helios, with Haifa, and with Sound Loops. And then of course you can check out Helios Rising blog to check out exactly what these incubators entail. So if you're interested in joining the 
the Helios Incubator in the next wave, wave five, then you can learn more at heliosrising.com and check out their blogs to learn exactly how you can benefit from these incubator programs. Great to see the progress and looking forward to seeing more from these teams building with the Incubator Lite program and I'm wishing them well in wave four. The next topic that we'll discuss today is EOS IO Coalition updates. So there are some very exciting updates this week. Eve shared a thread talking about how the leaders of the EOS IO Coalition are discussing and building the future of EOS IO. And he shared some nice alpha in this thread, many exciting details. So the top priority that the EOS IO Coalition is focusing on is faster finality, which unlocks many new possibilities for EOS IO. As you can see, all the priorities here, the top one being block finality. So it's a fast on EOSIO, but it could be much faster. Block finality will improve from 180 seconds to one to six seconds. That means transactions will be fully processed within one to six seconds. And there's lots of exciting uh, features that become enabled and unleashed by this. So for one, EOS, I EOS I I IBC. So by the end of the summer, EOS IO chains will have native IBC allowing for seamless and secure transfers between assets to bridge WAX, NFTs to EOS, vice versa, and so forth. And that IBC will also work for Ethereum as well and other blockchains too. So that's a really big deal and there'll be more details about this coming soon, but that will enable many helpful applications at a much cheaper rate than ever before possible. And then finally, this new final or the faster finality will also enable expansion of block producers. So it, 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 right now there's 21 block producers on EOS, of course, and this may enable 60 or more block producers without sacrificing any performance. So very exciting developments to increase the decentralization of EOS. And then Eve also shares more details in the thread talking about basically how collaboration is the best course forward for EOS and how this EOS IO, collab, EOS IO coalition with this collaboration is being very helpful for all these EOS IO chains and everybody in general. You can also learn much more about this and the recent uh, fireside chat that happened on this Wednesday. It was pure fire, as the ENF says. So we had Areg, the director of engineering with the ENF, and then also Gnome from the UX network talking about faster finality and IBC and sidechains and Mandel. And you can check out all the timestamps here as well to learn. It was like an hour, an hour and a half. It was a fascinating conversation. So definitely recommend checking that out to learn more about these great changes with the EOSIO Coalition. And then, of course, you can check out all the past meetings in the playlist on the Everything EOS channel and the most recent and bi-weekly coalition reports on the eosnetwork.com website to learn more about these great developments. The next topic that we'll discuss today is Lara sharing some sneak peeks about Immutable Realms, which is the EOS Zine that he's been making, funded thanks to the community with Pomelo Grants and the EOS Network Foundation. Volume 1 will be available for free later this month with comics and editorials on Fractal Fiction. He's an amazing artist, and as you can see from this pencil, um, the, the, this pencil picture right here, um, well, it's quite quite detailed, and basically he's telling a story about. It, it's kind of based off the uh, an, an an older tale about a ship that's rebuilt, and I won't get into it too much here. But check it out; it, it's really interesting, and the story is great. It really tells the story of EOS well and with beautiful art, and helps promote EOS. So check that out, and to learn more about Lars's project, you can also check out the Pamela Pitch Deck interview that he did with Jimmy D a few months ago as well, where there's. Uh, Many, many interesting details about all the art that he's building with EOS. The next topic that we'll discuss now is Pomelo Rocket Potions going live on, uh, well, they went live on Tuesday, actually. So now you can create your rocket potions at blend.gems.io, and you can claim your rockets at harvest.pomelo.io. So this is uh, there's been some really neat NFTs that are coming from the Pomelo platform. Of course, all, of course, all these NFTs are being used to help fund public goods on EOS and going to the matching pool to uh, distribute funding to public good creators. You can check out harvest.pomelo here to set your Pomelo profile and also purchase these NFTs. And then you can also purchase them on Atomic Hub and then you can blend them on .gems.io, as I was saying, on blend.gems.io and see the NFTs here that you can blend. And then you can learn more about this in last week's 
week's article, Your Guide to the Pomelo Season 3 NFT Adventure, where there's many helpful details here and beautiful NFTs and so forth. There's also a helpful infographic about these Pomelo Season 3 NFTs, and there's also some new details that were just added to this blog post over this week uh, about claiming your rockets and blending Pomelo moons. So there's a great graphic, and you can learn much more about the beautiful rockets and go to outer space to help support public goods. Thank you, the Pomelo team, and check out those Pomelo NFTs. Uh, Pomelo season is also starting for uh, public good creators. Grant applications open on July 19th. Next two topics that we'll discuss just really quickly is the Crypto Coin Show appearance by Evil Rose. So he joined for a half hour to speak about growth on EOS with the ENF. Grants, funding for startups, game fine EOS and DAGs, EVM compatibility, and IBC for interoperability. Crypto Coin Show is quite a popular show, and so it's fast. It's great to see Eve sharing um, information about EOS here. And this just came out yesterday. I'm looking forward to learning more about it and I recommend everybody check it out. The next topic that we'll discuss is a new article in the developer series article, uh, Architects of Consensus. This is an in-depth interview with ENF principal engineer Bucky Kittinger, who recently joined the ENF. This series, I believe it's written and interviewed by Brendan Lovejoy, and it's really in-depth. It's really fascinating to learn about the great engineers who are building the magic of EOS behind the scenes. You don't really hear about uh, people who are building these tools so much in many circumstances, but this is a great way to learn in detail about who these uh, amazing people and amazing developers are and what they're doing and what drives them to build with EOS. So check that out. And of course, you can also check out the previous one with Director of Engineering, Arreg Haritation. And that's also a fascinating article as well with lots of detail of course, and then there's much more coming soon about the magic of blockchain technology with the great engineers of EOS and the ENF. And finally, what we'll wrap it up with now is um, EOS community events. So one EOS community com event that's coming up in approximately 40 minutes from now is a Helios Twitter space dedicated to discussing Eden on EOS with the Eden community. So the Eden election, uh, the third official Eden election is happening tomorrow at 13 UTC, I believe. And so it's really exciting. I hope to see you all there and it will be a very helpful opportunity for people to raise funding in EOS and also innovate with true democracy and fractal governance. And I highly encourage everybody to join this Helios Twitter space as well to discuss proposals for Eden and to learn more about Eden and so forth. That'll be happening in 40 minutes. I'm sure it'll be a great conversation. You can also listen to the final chief delegate meeting that Bywire News tweeted about. It's also on odyssey to learn from brock and chuck and gracie and edgar and michael and congratulations and thank you so much to the chief delegates you can also check out the eos community fireside chat of course happening every every wednesday at 19 utc for many fascinating discussions and you can watch the videos on youtube and speak with eos community leaders like eve and zach and lovejoy you can check out the eos support giveaway shows on every thursday at 16 utc and speak with charles it's a great opportunity to both earn eos and then also learn about eos especially helpful for newcomers to eos who aren't sure you can talk with charles who's awesome and learn about the updates and ask questions. And you can also join the Eden Fractal every Wednesday at 13 UTC, where you can earn EOS, respect, and NFTs by helping Eden and EOS. These events have been going really great over the past few weeks. And you can also check out the Eden Creators YouTube channel and Felix also. Felix Reese just shared a video on his channel as well to see the most recent videos of the Eden Fractal. And then Felix and I have also been hosting the Eden Town Halls to talk about Eden and true democracy and so forth and EOS, empowering EOS with Eden every, 16, every Sunday at 16 UTC. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see you all at all these community events. They're really exciting. And once again, the Eden election is happening on July 9th, just tomorrow on Saturday at 13 UTC. And I highly encourage everybody to join. There'll also be a video where you can watch it and there might be a live stream. So that's coming up tomorrow. And once again, you can join the Helios Twitter spaces for Eden on EOS in approximately 39 minutes for a fascinating discussion about, EO, about Eden, where you can learn a lot and share uh, your proposals and ideas. So that wraps up the show for right now. I will check out the chat because I see lots more enthusiasm and so forth. Uh, EOS is not part of the EOS coalition and 
to just to answer your question, Yevin. And yeah, thanks everybody. Oh, I, I, I see we already answered it. But anyway, yeah, thanks everybody for joining. I, I really appreciate it and hope that everybody had a great time and really enjoyed the show today. Uh, we'll wrap it up now. I hope to see you at all these uh, EOS community events and the Helios Twitter spaces in about a half hour. And thanks everybody for watching the hot sauce. Um, Thanks for all the great work with EOS, everybody. I'm really thrilled to be sharing this with you and excited for next week. Until next week, remember to keep it spicy. Like, subscribe, and share to grow EOS. And thank you so much, everybody. Have a great weekend. And as always, go EOS. All right, I'll see you all at the stream later and at the election.